And our first guest this week joins us via satellite from Orlando. Mr. Sandy Gregory does corporate communications consulting for a company called Turbine Truck Engine, stock symbols TTEG. Sandy, welcome to the program. Thank you, Don. I'm delighted to be with you today. Well, Sandy, Turbine Truck Engines describes itself as being the owner of an exclusive license for the manufacturing and marketing of a highly innovative and environmentally sound and friendly turbine truck engine. Can you give us a general overview of the company, please? I'll be glad to, Don. Uh, the engine was developed by a gentleman named Robert Scragg in the 90s. And in 1999, Mr. Scragg met Michael Rouse. Michael, uh, to his, among his credits, are the fact that he is a licensed commercial airline pilot. And when Michael saw the engine, he saw the potential of the engine. Mr. Scragg invi invited Michael to be on the board of directors of his company, Alpha Engines, and soon thereafter it was decided that Michael would uh, start a company, Turbine Truck Engines, um, with the view of com developing, continuing the development and commercialization of the engine. And uh, Turbine Truck Engines was formed as a Delaware C company in 2000, became a public company in 2005, started trading in 2006, and over the last nine years has gone through the developmental curve, uh, the process to uh, move this engine technology forward and closer to the marketplace. You know, Sandy, I saw you do a presentation in New York City where you uh, basically uh, gave us an overview of what's called the Detonation Cycle Gas Turbine Engine, or DCGT. Can you kind of walk our audience through that, please? I sure can. Uh, I believe your audience is now looking at a, an artist's rendering of the engine. Uh, basically, the engine is a scalable engine, a turbine engine, that accomplishes some, some very important objectives. If we take just a moment and look at the schematic of the engine, you see that the engine has a blower in the top center. Uh, the air is distributed to the cylinders around the two manifolds on the side. Uh, that air is combined with fuel and enters into a combustion chamber. You see in the schematic uh, the entrance of that air with, mixed with fuel and the explosion that takes place uh, in one of the chambers. What's important about this is that that explosion is of enormous force. What happens normally, Don, in a uh, diesel or a gasoline engine is, is a subsonic event uh, called a deflagration event that occurs over eight or nine milliseconds. Now that seems fast, uh, but, uh, but in a comparative way it's not very fast. What happens in the detonation cycle engine is that the plasma arc emits a, emits a, photo, a, a photolytic or radiolytic wave and uh, that wave explodes the glass fuel mixture, not as a deflagration event, but as a detonation event. It's like a bomb going off. Occurs in less than a millisecond. And that uh, distributes an enormous amount of shock force, which is applied to the blades of the turbine. You see the arrows pointing uh, towards those blades where the shock force is going. That's followed by a fast flame front, which then turns the, uh, the blades of the uh, turbine, which then is, of course, attached to the shaft. Now, you see the explosion occurring on one side. Uh, it's an alternating event, so the same process immediately thereafter occurs on the other side, applying force in the opposite direction, but turning the turbine in the same direction. And as I said, the, the engine is scalable, and, and so you can stack as many of these cylinders as you want to into an engine, and uh, it is now turning at the um, uh, Emory-Riddle Aeronautical University uh, Research Lab about 16,000 RPMs. As a matter of fact, if you want to pull it up for the audience, uh, they can see that the, uh, the engine running, uh, this is the engine that is now at the Gas Turbine Research Center over in, um, actually that may be incorrect, let's change that, uh, Don. The, uh, the, the engine is, uh, that is turning 16,000 RPMs uh, is being uh, managed by Dr. Magni Atia. Dr. Atia is uh, head of the Gas Turbine Research Center at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and he believes that we're in the last stages of the development of this prototype, and uh, when we've completed this stage, we would then be ready to move towards production. It's a very exciting uh, technology, a game-changing technology that can affect uh, the way we transport people and goods across the planet. Now, I want to make sure that when I was researching the company, I read this right. This uh, engine has no pistons, no valves, no filters, no pumps, and uses no oil? That's right, Don. Uh, part of the genius of the engine is its simplicity. 
Uh, if you look at a, a diesel engine, what you would see in a tractor trailer going down the road, some people might have one in their trucks, uh, some people might even have it in their cars. Um, a diesel engine normally would have about 55 to 60 moving parts. The detonation cycle gas turbine engine has only one moving part. The implications of that are enormous. First of all, it greatly simplifies the construction or the manufacturing of the engine, which of course reduces cost. But on the back side of the purchase, it greatly simplifies the maintenance of the engine, which again reduces cost. And, uh, and it's, it's a really remarkable device that Mr. Scragg uh, invented.